Oh, welcome my friends. Oh my gosh, we got our beverage for our trip down there. I'll pop that dude in a little bit. Uh, Cause I'm excited, I wanna get going. Uh, the week was, bananas just doesn't cover it, but <laughs> we talk about that later. Right now I'm just, uh, let's go camping. Uh, oh, and uh, for dinner tonight, I'm gonna make something in my apologies. I'm surprised I just realized, why I haven't made this for you guys yet. But it's one of the, in my opinion, one of the easiest uh, and possibly uh, versatile uh, camping meals that uh, you can make um, with your own touches and whatnot. I, all right, I'm rambling on. <laughs> I do want to thank everybody out there for coming along on my little camping adventures. I'm, I truly enjoy sharing them with everybody. So everybody, buckle up. <sighs> if you have a beverage of choice, get it now. We are all, we're almost ah, <laughs> almost officially on the road. So you folks. You take care and uh, I'll see you at the campground. Welcome back, my friends. Oh, how ah, we made it down here. Whew. Cheers. My gosh, it's quiet. I mean, it won't be <laughs> for much longer. Um, for uh, sat to, we, we're coming out on a Saturday on this trip. Uh, just couldn't get out Friday. Oh, like I was mentioning the, oh, sh cheers. <laughs> Uh, work week was bananas. We're coming off of a short work week. Last weekend was a three-day weekend. So, of course, which is great. Don't get me wrong. But uh, then uh, you got four days to get in five days worth of work. <laughs> and I was just too exhausted to uh, head out last night, Friday. I was like, I need to get some good sleep. So I slept best I could, but now we're down here. Oh my gosh, I just I'm feeling so much better by the minute, just relaxing out here. It's relatively peaceful, but um, very few neighbors. But we do have, and you can hear them. 
<laughs> we have a family next door. <laughs> oh, I think that's awesome. Uh, I took note of them a minute ago. It's a, they've got, there's like three or four tents. I think at least three tents set up. They got a big gazebo thing <laughs> over the picnic area. That's just cool. I mean, I, you know, I love taking my kids out here and I can, they're out there. There's a few trails through these woods here and I can hear them out there walking around and just having a blast. I think it's just fantastic. You know, get your, take your kids camping if you can, or at least go yourself. Oh my gosh, just to detach from the world out here. Yeah, I mean, uh, get away from office environments and laptop screens and stuff. Oh. So it's nice, it's quiet. I like to detach from technology when I come out here. <laughs> That's kind of ironic considering I'm, <laughs> we're making a video. <laughs> But that's okay. Oh, just so I could share with everybody. Well, everybody, I'm going to kick back. I'm going to relax and drink this beer. Probably move my chair. And uh, then I'll give you a quick tour of the campground. And uh, I made a couple adjustments to the ceiling fan. So uh, we'll just go through the, uh, the setup ritual of Big Red for the evening. <laughs> you folks, y'all take care. And uh, I'll see you here soon. Okay, everybody, there's Big Red. He's all good to go, pretty much. Well, we, we still need to set up the back end. Well, we'll get that taken care of directly here. And we got nice, uh, we're up against the woods. That's nice breeze, it's so peaceful. Oh, I'm just feeling better and better by the minute. Just get out here and relax. But we got a, a nice size uh, campsite. There's not, here, I'm gonna spin around here. Hold on, ready? <laughs> all right, grab something. <laughs> Not a, for a, and we're out here on a Saturday, and there's just not a lot of people out here. We do have some neighbors next to us. Looks like a family, and uh, uh, that's I think that's great. Get out family camping, but yeah, there's a, there's a there's a bunch of them. <laughs> I won't I won't film too much in that direction. They're meandering around. So, well, here in a second, we'll get the back end of the truck set up, and uh, then we'll look to get some dinner going. Ah, welcome back my friends. All right, now we're gonna get set up for the night. Now, as I mentioned, I made some adjustments here. I actually added two additional hooks here for the old ceiling fan. So I gained myself some height. Oops, I'm doing it backwards. So give me a second here, we'll get this hooked up. Oops, missed one. Kind of hard to see through the fan. There we go. So now, haha. <laughs> let me plug this guy in. Let's see if I, I don't do it upside down. Forget the lighting. There we go. And snap two. Quick test. Whoops, it did get my hat. Ah, perfect. But I'll be laying down, so <laughs> there we go. Now, uh, let's start getting organized. Here, we have our bug zapper. Put him right there. <laughs> it's also a light. Let's see. Next we have, well, I have to kind of move things around a little bit. Ah, an additional fan, which I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I still forgot to charge this thing, so... I'm going to go ahead and put him on a charge. Now right here I've got uh, a couple little mini uh, plugs. Uh, one, this one has two USB plugs in it that stick to the battery. Oh. And we're charging. Yeah, just in case. And let's see. Got, ah, there it is. Our DVD player for tonight. We just we'll select a movie later. He sits right there. Remote control. It's rechargeable also. But typically what I do is I have my second plug up here is basically a cigarette lighter adapter. And ta -da. so what we do is just plug this guy in. There we go. And that's a little red light. Now we got power. Plug this guy in. I can find the plug in. I'm always upside down on these things. There we go. There we 
There we go. So he's charging up. So that's you right there. Tuck the cord back there. So our little station is ready for tonight. And now, whoops, aha, let's unleash our bed. I can, there we go. Now tonight is supposed to get down in the 50s. So I brought my uh, zero degree sleeping bag, which I'll either use or use as extra padding. So give me a second to get organized here and we'll get the bed spread out. Oh, yeah. and an emergency light. Also rechargeable. Stop it. <laughs> right there. Just in case, you know, lose battery power or whatever, got another light. All right, so uh, be back in just a second when I get the, the bed all unfurled here. Okay, now that we've got pretty much situated where we want it, this one I go ahead and fill, up, <laughs> fill her up. Well, here we go. Let's take a minute. That's the tricky part. Once I get it majority filled up, because this, I guess, main, <laughs> make sure I get that sealed in there tight. This, uh, you can see it that means only this main plug, <laughs> so you turn it off, whoosh, air wants to come back out. So then we just switch over to a little miniature one. And that's where this guy comes in handy. Stick him in there. I know you probably can't see, so I apologize. And uh, now we finish it off. If I can find the switch, there it is. <laughs> oh. Be back shortly. <laughs> okay, we're all layered up, and I've got. I have a fitted sheet I put over the air mattress. Just roll this guy back down. You're good to go. <laughs> All right, folks, here in just a bit, we're gonna get that uh, dinner going, I promise you. So I uh, appreciate you coming along so far. Y'all take care and uh, we'll see you when we're ready to get to cooking. <laughs> ah, welcome back, my friends. It's gonna be noisy. We've got like four families that have pretty much taken over next door. It's okay, I complain. Uh, but just a heads up. So now we're gonna start dinner my what I call my camp burger helper. First thing we need to do, I already got the pot with water in it, is get some water to boil. So that's gonna take a minute. Let me fire this up. I'm gonna turn you. Take me a minute to get this camp thing leveled out too. Whoosh. Okay, I'm gonna turn the volume down on that a little bit. Just so you can hear me. So basically what it is, is ground beef, and I brought my own mac and cheese. This is Wisconsin 5 blend that we'll be making. And we'll be mixing that with the hamburger, as well as a little bit of something else. Right now, just, I always like to put a little olive oil into my water. Okay, so folks, <laughs> we'll be back when I won't put you through it, but I'm going to watch water boil. So we'll be back shortly. All right, folks, our water is boiling. So let's, uh, this is what takes the longest of anything is getting the macaroni ready. It takes a while. Pull out our cheese mix. <laughs> Big spoon. Make sure we don't have anything stick to the bottom. Turn the heat back up. I turned it down just a second ago. It's a little loud. <laughs> Alright, now we'll bring this back up to a boil. <laughs> well, hold tight. Oh. Alright, folks, it's been going for a few minutes. Come on, you. Turn. There we go. We'll get this.
Start browning our hamburger. Ah. There we go. on that. I'm watching the heat to make sure it doesn't boil over. Go ahead and turn it down just a little bit. All right. I've got a trash bag over here to the side. Fingers off. All right, we'll get this browned up and uh, we'll be back shortly. Hey right, everybody, we got the meats. I turned the heat down. The hamburger's all browned up. Now we're gonna add some mild chili seasoning right to it. No, we did not drain off the grease. This is throwing away flavor. <laughs> that way you don't have to add any water to it either. And we get this all mixed in. And uh, our pasta is just about done. So we'll be back here in just a little bit and get everything assembled. So hold on, take care. All right, folks, already moved the meat. And we're ready to drain off our pasta and assemble everything. So bear with me and we'll smack it all together. So <laughs> that close. <laughs> Oh, I love this little thing. It's so handy. We just take our pasta, it's all nice and done and hot. And we just dump it right on top of there. Set that to the side. And now we're ready for the cheese. Let's see if I can get this open. <laughs> Why not? Boom, first try. And we'll get the cheese in there and then we'll get to mix it. Oh, when mixing this, <laughs> I forgot. Kind of fold it in like your, like, I don't know, it's a baking term, I guess. That way you get the hamburger distributed evenly. That's pretty good. All right, folks, be right back. I'm gonna get me a plate and we're gonna have dinner. <laughs> ah, welcome back, everybody. Oh, oh boy, he's starting to act up on me. Ah, standing over a hot stove forever. So that's the only drawback about this dinner that I know of. It just, it's pasta, it just takes forever to get ready. So let's get some on the plate. Now this is enough to probably feed three to four people. And I brought Tupperware <laughs> to take it home. Actually, if it works out right, I can just fill the top of this and stick it in the cooler. We'll see. There we go. And again, let's see. We're gonna need water. Oh, and I brought. Ah, there it is. Some salad from home because I want something with a little bit of crunch to it. Do I think I got everything out of there yet? I don't know. All right, let's get in. this open. I'm going to set you right there. Move that spoon out of the way. A little. Well, where are you? Oh, it's a squeeze thing. <laughs> That should be enough for the moment. Get our water ready. Cheers, folks. Ah, I gotta cleanse the palate a little bit. All right, let's get into this joker. Actually, this is easier to eat with a spoon. <laughs> Would you like a couple of ears of corn? 
Oh wow, that's good. That is good stuff. I knew it would be. I've made this before. Uh, yeah, certainly. Well, that is so kind of you. It's very warm, so be careful. I love corn on the cob. Okay, Thank awesome. you so much. <laughs> awesome. You meet the nicest folks when you're camping. The, the neighbors over there just gave me a couple of ears of corn on the cob, and it's hot. <laughs> you know, get in it. Get on the plate. Awesome. That is fantastic. <laughs> oh. Oh, let's try our salad. Pardon me. Kind of a big bite. Oh, that is hot. So we're gonna we're gonna let that cool down a little bit, folks. So I am gonna eat this dinner. I'm starving. It's so good. Oh, uh, well, I'll talk about the dinner a little bit more. Let's. I'm gonna eat, and then uh, we'll see about getting a fire going. You folks, take care. Hmm. So good. That one. Doesn't look like it from this angle. <clears throat> Here we go. Whew. As I said before, sometimes it's temperamental. <laughs> that helps me. That's why I carry spare lighters. I think the other one's just running out. <laughs> so close oh there she goes awesome all right now we're gonna step back oh <laughs> let that get going ah, welcome back my friends we're gonna have some background noise ah, it's part of camping sometimes oh Whew. now it's time to relax by the fire cheers <laughs> I can't complain too much. The neighbors were kind enough to share their corn on the cob with me. That was just awesome. Oh, now we're gonna, oh, I was talking about dinner. Being versatile, we'll do the best we can. <laughs> Pardon me, ooh, smoke. May have to move. Anywho, um, it was actually shells and cheese, not mac and cheese. Um, and I like to use the the five cheddar blend with the hamburger and the chili mixes. And uh, top of you. <laughs> but they've got all the different types of flavors. They've got uh, like uh, an Italian cheese, the one that basically you take your flavor profile that you want and you mix your protein. Uh, they have one that's a uh, bacon ranch, which I think would be great with chicken. And they also now have just come out with a barbecue style which I think, shoot, that might be pretty good with pulled pork. But uh, it's easy to put together, but it is time consuming to make. Ah, cheers, folks. Ah, yeah, just because of the pasta. But it's so simple. It, and I mean, there was quite a bit. And I did forget the Tupperware, <laughs> but I do always carry 
gallon size uh, Ziploc bag. So we got that bagged up and in the cooler for lunch tomorrow. Uh, let's see. But today's been a it's been a really good adventure. I mean, I'm not minding the background noise whatsoever. It's been uh, it comes and goes. Yeah. But it's been a nice breeze. It's been cool out. We got a nice sight. It's just been it's, it's been wonderful. Uh, kids playing in the background. That's the kind of background noise I don't mind whatsoever. Well, folks, I'm going to stoke his fire up, kick back and relax, and we're going to let the sun drop. So, everybody, appreciate you all coming along with me. Y'all take care, and uh, I'll see you in the morning. All right, my friends, we are all packed in the truck. Got the DVD player ready to go. I got two fans going in here <laughs> just to move the air around in here. I don't need that little one there. I'll probably shut it off. Oh, bug zapper. And ta -da, this bad boy. Man, he's pushing some air around in here. It's going to get chilly tonight, so I imagine I will be turning him off. <laughs> well, you folks take care, and uh, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, campers. Oh, and it is a fantastic morning. Oh my gosh. Forgive me for not making coffee this morning. I brought an extra one of these. Ah. <laughs> Cheers, folks. Oh, should have brought a napkin too. <laughs> oh, well, last night was amazing. Oh. I know we had a uh, good amount of neighbors, but they were friendly as all get out. <clears throat> and they had a bunch of kids, which is common in campgrounds. And boy, I'll tell you what, once that sun settled, or set, excuse me, <laughs> it's still early, um, they settled right down. It got really peaceful. I spent some extra time by the campfire last night. The crickets came out before we went to bed and just had a great night's sleep. Oh my gosh. Didn't get too cold last night, so I did, uh, um, once I started to doze off, I went ahead and turned the, fan, the ceiling fan off because I knew it was going to get cool, and phew, I slept right through the night, and it was great. Uh, cheers, folks. Oh, oh and our, our Camp Burger Helper, <laughs> it was really good last night, and, um, and it was wonderful. Um, uh, one of the moms uh, next door brought us over a couple of ears of corn on the cob. I thought that was fantastic. And that, that's one thing I find about, um, I know a lot of people aren't into <clears throat> the public or state campgrounds, but uh, I don't have a problem with it. I mean, I've been camping for 50 plus years and I can count on one hand how many bad experiences I've had. Um, uh, and uh, I find the majority of the camping community are uh, pretty nice and friendly folk. Uh, so I thought that was pretty kind of her last night to come over and share. <laughs> Wasn't complaining at all. Oh, but it is, it's not too early. It's probably about eight o'clock in the morning. The sun's coming up over my shoulder over there. And this is one of the more peaceful times in campgrounds actually is in the mornings <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take advantage and uh, do some more reading I'm caught up to a pretty decent part <laughs> last night <Ooh. laughs> and then the but the Sun faded out and because I did some a little bit of reading by the campfire last night and uh, but it's got too dark to read anymore <laughs> here's again folks But in all, I think this was a great trip. Had a great time. Got to unwind and relax. Ah, so I'm pretty happy. <laughs> well, you folks, I uh, really appreciate y'all coming along on my little camping adventures. As I said before, I'm not an overly 
rambunctious morning person. <laughs> so I am going to kick back, drink my coffee, listen to the birds. And uh, before, because I'm in no rush to pack up and go home today. So you folks, again, I appreciate you coming along. Y'all take care. And as always, I'll see you soon.